welcome dear students last time we have seen how to use kramer's rule to solve the linear equations or the simultaneous equations i hope you have solved many such examples and now you are thorough with the kramer's rule okay now let's go to the next topic now what is the next topic linear equations in two variables equation reducible to a pair of linear equations in two variables so last time we have seen that all the equations were having variable either x y a b p q etc and all were having the degree 1 so they are linear equations now here we are going to have the equations but it is not in a linear form we have to convert them into linear form so let us see what is the nature of equations now see here the equation in the form 3 upon x minus 4 upon y is equal to 8 okay how many variables are here x y means two variables here also now this equation we have to convert it into a linear equation how to convert that i'll explain so now this 3 upon x can be written as 3 into 1 upon x correct yes or no so 3 into 1 is 3 again you will get 3 upon x similarly minus 4 upon y can be written as 4 into 1 upon y and this 8 as it is this is equation number 1 okay now what we are going to do we are going to substitute 1 upon x and 1 upon y other than x and y any two variables okay so here we have substituted like this that is 1 upon x is equal to m and 1 upon y is equal to n okay so either you can substitute m and whatever you want a b or so on so here i have substituted what m so 1 upon x is equal to m and 1 upon y is equal to n this we are going to substitute in equation number 1 so this 1 upon x is going to become m this 1 upon y is going to become n okay so now this equation 1 will be reduced to like this what it is 3m correct minus 4n is equal to 8 say equation number 2 So here you have seen that how we have converted this equation in the linear form. That is, three m minus four n is equal to eight. Easy or not? Okay. Now let us take one more example. See here. It is something different than that. Six upon x minus one plus three upon y minus two is equal to zero. Okay. Now. Again, this six upon x minus one can be written as six into one upon x minus one plus three into one upon y minus two. This can be written it. Okay. So now instead of one upon x minus one, one upon y minus two, let us assume something. See here, one upon x minus one is equal to say p, and one upon y minus two is equal to say q. So can you tell me how the equation will be reduced to? Yes, come on. What six p plus three q is equal to zero? Say equation number two. So like this, we have reduced what? That is this equation in the form six upon into one upon x minus one as six p and three upon three into one upon y minus two as 3q is equal to zero. So this is a linear equation. This is also a linear equation in two variables. Now take one more example here. 14 upon x plus y plus 3 upon x minus y is equal to 5. So this can be written as 14 into 1 upon x plus y plus 3 into 1 upon x minus y is equal to 5. So what you will substitute now? Correct. One upon x plus y is equal to say m and whatever, and then one upon x minus y. So see what I substituted. So one upon x plus y is equal to m, and one upon x minus y is equal to say n. So can you tell me how the equation will be reduced to? Yes. 
करेक्ट वॉट फोर्टीन एम प्लस थ्री एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव से इक्वेशन नंबर टू करेक्ट सो लाइक दिस वी आर रेड्यूस द इक्वेशन नंबर वन इन टू अ लीनियर फॉर्म दिस इज नॉट द लीनियर इक्वेशन वी हैव कन्वर्टेड इट इन टू अ लीनियर इक्वेशन आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू यू ओके सो सम एग्जाम्पल्स आर देयर फॉर प्रैक्टिस टू यू सी यर टेक इट फॉर प्रैक्टिस and write in a linear equation form okay have you completed the completed okay now let us see how we are going to use this method to solve the equations okay so let us start with practice set 1.4 example number 1 Solve the following simultaneous equations. So given to you, two upon x minus three upon y is equal to fifteen, eight upon x plus five upon y is equal to seventy-seven. Okay. So let us write the solution. First, we are going to write the equations. Okay. So let us write the equation one and two. So this is equation number one and equation number two. Have you written? Okay. So what is our next step? Let yes. Can you recall? What one upon x is equal to say m, and one upon y is equal to n. So last time I told two into one upon x. So we are written one upon x is equal to m, three into one upon y. So one upon y is equal to n. So how the equation one and two will become? Therefore, equation one and two. becomes what can you tell me first equation 2 m minus 3 n is equal to 15 say equation number 3 are you getting so 2 into 1 upon x is m so it is 2 m minus 3 n is equal to 1 upon sorry is equal to 15 Equation number three. Similarly, can you give me the third, fourth one? Eight m plus five n is equal to seventy-seven. Say equation number four. Okay. So like this, we got equation three and four. Now, rest of the procedure is same as we have solved practice set one point one, two, three, and so on. Okay. Now let us solve it. But here we are not going to use Cramer's rule, but we are going to use our normal method of equating the coefficients. Okay, so what you are going to do? So now here you got eight m, here you got two m. So what you will multiply to two so that you can get eight, that is four. Okay, so let us multiply equation three by four, then we get. So let us write it. What you are going to get? Now four into two m is going to what? 8m minus 4 into 3. 4 3 is a 12. So 12 n is equal to 15 4 is a yes. What is the multiplication? 60. Equation number say 5. Okay. So you got equation number 4 and equation number 5 to solve. Now here again coefficients are same, but they are having the same sign. So same sign. What we will do? Yes, we are going to subtract. now you can subtract either 5 from 4 or 4 from 5 but here i am subtracting equation 5 from 4 so let us write it how you will write the subtraction you are subtracting 5 from 4 correct or not so which equation you will write first correct that is fourth one so it is 8m plus 5n is equal to 77 minus 8m Minus twelve n is equal to sixty. Subtraction minus minus will become plus. This plus will become minus. So this will get cancelled. Fifteen plus sorry five plus twelve. How much? Seventeen n is equal to. Now addition is what? One thirty seven. Correct or not? So now let us solve it. so we are going to write subtracting equation 5 from 
equation 4. So which equation you will write first? 8m plus 5n is equal to 77. Then we are having the fifth equation that is 8m minus 12n is equal to 60. Subtract it. So when you subtract, you are going to get what? 8m, 8m get cancelled. 5 plus 2 is 79. And 77 minus 60 is 17. Therefore, n is equal to 17 upon 17. 17 ones are 17 ones are. So what you are going to get? n is equal to 1. So this is the first value of n variable n you got. Now this value you are going to substitute in any of the equation. Either you can substitute in equation number 4, 5 or so. So now let us substitute in equation number say 3. So therefore, so let us write it. So substituting value of n in equation number 3. So what is equation number 3? 2m minus 3 into 1 is equal to 15. So let us solve. So it is 2m minus 3 is equal to 15. Procedure is same. Whatever you have adopted last time. So it is plus 3. Therefore 2m is equal to 18. Therefore m is equal to 18 by 2. 2 1s are 2 9s are. So what is the value of m you got? m is equal to 9. Is it your final answer? No, this is not at all your final answer. Just see, we have substituted 1 upon x is equal to m. So you got the value of m, but not the value of x. Means you are going to re-substitute the value of m and n in the whatever substitution you had done previously. Okay, so let us substitute and then get the value of x and y. So what is the value of m? m is equal to 9 okay and n is equal to 1 so we are going to write here therefore 1 upon x is equal to 9 correct 1 upon x is equal to 9 if 1 upon x is equal to 9 so x is equal to what so x will go here and 9 will come to the denominator means x is equal to 1 upon 9 Correct? Are you getting? Similarly, 1 upon y. 1 upon y is equal to 1. That is n is equal to 1. So therefore, y is equal to 1. So, this is the final answer. But you have to write the solution. So what is the final answer? x comma y is equal to 1 upon 9 comma 1 is the solution. So like this you have to solve the equation. This was the easiest example. Now let us revise it in a brief. So you got equation 2 upon x minus 3 upon y is equal to 15. So you have substituted 1 upon x is equal to m, 1 upon y is equal to n. So equation 1 and 2 becomes 2m minus 3n is equal to 15, 8m plus 5n is equal to 77. Now this conversion is important. After converting this, the rest of the procedure is known to you how to solve by equating the coefficients. So you got the value of n is equal to 1, m is equal to 9. This is not your final answer. So you are going to resubstitute in 1 upon x is equal to m, that is 1 upon x is equal to 9, so x is equal to 1 upon 9, and 1 upon y is equal to n, that is 1 up y is equal to 1, so y is 1. Like this, you got the solution. I hope it is clear to you all and you will enjoy solving these kind of examples. Thank you.